Hey, hey everybody, it's Scott Omano back for another Minecraft video. Hope everybody's having a great day, guys. I'm having a great day. In this video, I want to introduce you to a really cool project that I've been working on, but I want to give you a little bit of background first, all right? So in 2017, Mojang announced a, a project that they were working on to release a resource pack for Windows 10 and Xbox called Super Duper, all right? And it was going to have uh, some shaders built into it. Uh, and you know, there's a lot of news coverage and stuff about that, but that project was subsequently canceled because they couldn't get uh, good performance across systems. But as you know, we have the RTX stuff now from NVIDIA for Windows 10 Bedrock system. And uh, it does a lot of the same stuff. I think those projects were closely related. Uh, so it did see the light of day. But for Java users, we have tons of shader options. But in 116, they released the Fabulous Graphics option, all right? So Fabulous Graphics allows you to see uh, transparency effects, like through glass, you can see smoke and, uh, you know, things on the other side of glass particles. Uh, underwater, you can see clouds, you know, it, it introduces things like that, all right? But it itself is a shader, all right? So it is a shader, so Minecraft is actually running shaders. Now it's had, a number of internal shaders since 1.7.2 called the super secret settings and i'll do some more videos on that but using those internal shader effects guys we can we can create some basic shaders in minecraft pure vanilla all right so that's a project i've been working on here and uh there are some other ones out here i'm uh, other projects like this out there and i'll do some videos on those but this is the uh, first one that I'm working on here, and it's called Fabulosity, all right? And it's based upon this Bloom Shader Pack from the Bomb 64, um, and I'll give credits and stuff at the end of the video for it. Uh, but I've adapted it quite a bit and adapted it to this system. So the color palette, I'm trying to get the old nostalgic Seuss look. Uh, to Minecraft, so a little bit darker, more HDR, a little bit more saturated color. Um, but the big thing about this pack is the bloom, all right? So off in the distance, you can see this fringing bloom that is slightly transparent with light into it. Light spills along the edge of trees and stuff. You can see the sun has a nice glow to it. Uh, so there is a series of bloom effects that look really, really nice. The clouds uh, get a nice bloom effect during the day to where they're much smoother, a little bit more blurred. Uh, they get different shape feelings to them than just your standard boxy clouds. Uh, so it looks really, really nice. And, and I'm very happy with these initial results. Now, some of the stuff is a little bit um, more extreme. Uh, like the sand, for instance, like let's go ahead and do time set day so we get the full look. You can see sand is very bright. It gives this feeling of uh, heat, which is kind of cool. You can still see the textures and stuff in it, but a desert, you know, becomes a very hot looking place. Now, again, I'm letting some of this be a little on the extreme side, but the cool stuff, guys, is that it is just a resource pack. All right. So i'm running now in sodium all right so i can use this shader along with sodium i can use it along with vanilla i can use it along with optifine but it is basically just a resource pack now i have two that i'm working on this is the one where i'm trying a few more effects in it um, uh, we'll see what gets into the public release but basically it is just a simple resource pack all right and so you need to have your quality and you can see i'm in sodium here your quality set to graphics fabulous. Now in Optifine, there's another way if your computer can't run graphics fabulous. Uh, and if you try to em, you know, enable it, you may get a warning if your GPU doesn't support it. That means you can't run the fabulous graphics. But if I take off the fabulous graphics, then I just go back to regular vanilla, All right. So this is regular vanilla. Uh, put on the fancy graphics again, or or the fabulous graphics and then it loads the shader again very cool this is all vanilla shaders all right this is using the internal vanilla shader library that's in there super super cool all right 
So I want to demonstrate that uh, the fabulous graphic stuff still works. Uh, and you get a, some nice uh, effects a little bit, a little bit of blurring through glass. Uh, the smoke has more of a blur. You can see I can see blur through the glass. Uh, again, the smoke appears a bit more, uh, I don't, I don't want to say realistic, but nicer because of that fringing. Now, let's go and take a look at a desert quickly uh, just to get an idea of that type of effect that I'm talking about. Let's see if it's around here somewhere. It's over here, I think. Yeah, over here. Um, so it appears very, very hot in the desert, which is kind of cool, guys. So there you go in the desert during the day. Uh, now, if we adjust the, uh, if once the time changes, then the lighting will change. Uh, but I think it looks pretty cool, guys. Again, a little bit on the extreme side, but uh, when you're first, you know, trying to preview effects like this, you might as well go a little bit more extreme. So here's the houses and villages and stuff in the desert. Again, it looks like it's very, very hot here. So that's cool. So let me go ahead and demonstrate it running in pure vanilla. Again, that's in sodium. All right, so let's take a look. This is vanilla with absolutely no resource pack, which by the way, in that uh, sodium version, uh, we'll circle back to it. Uh, I did have a, a shadow pack in there, a light map pack, pixel reality, uh, lum luminosity, I think it's called. Um, but this is pure vanilla, guys, right here. So this is just running it in pure vanilla. Let me get my full screen window here. Um, take a look at it. So just with fabulous graphics. Now here's a sunset. Sunset looks super cool. Let's go ahead and back up time just a little bit. I'll do 11,500, all right? And so you can see that, the again, we get this nice horizon effect that looks very cool. Uh, let's watch the sand change as the light changes. It's reactive to the sun. So you can see its color changes. So this is uh, reactive to the time of day. You can see it, it fades out. Then we're getting this nice blending of the sun. This is pure vanilla, guys right into the horizon looks super nice uh let's go ahead and watch it because it's it's rather pretty uh the clouds do kind of get uh less fringing and stuff uh during the nighttime. again it's light based which is pretty cool so they're light reactive but look at that vanilla sun guys uh, now of course it's going to rain on me but let's just clear that that that's fine the rain actually has some blur on it too uh, which gives it a nice effect. Uh, so the rain will blur a little bit too. Uh, thunder and stuff should have a pretty good effect. I'll go ahead and let it rain a little bit. See if we get another lightning. Uh, let me go ahead and leave it that. Yeah. So there, there's some nice features in that. But again, for vanilla, you have to have fabulous graphics. All right. So let me show you in Optifine. In Optifine, you have two options. You can load it as just the regular Fabulous Graphics, or you can load it through one of Optifine's internal shaders, because they're actually using one of the Mojang shaders uh, to achieve the anti-aliasing, all right? So if I go into Optifine here, let me get my window, and we'll uh, take a look like right now, it's set to where the video settings, the graphics are fancy, but if you go into the shaders, you don't have to have an internal shader on. You can run it along with other shaders. But you need to select this anti-aliasing and you need the setting FXAA four times. As I said, it is actually loading the FXAA shader from uh, Vanilla Minecraft, all right, part of its internal shaders. And then the times is setting it to how much you use but I've overwritten that shader with my own. So when you select the FXAA four times, you're getting the shader that's loaded in the resource pack. So again, you, you just load it as a resource pack. Now this one has the pixel reality luminance, which I'll show you. And it also has an emissive light pack on top of it, okay? So let's take a look at these. Uh, I think I'm in the nether in this world. Take a look. The nether looks awesome. Yeah, look at this guys. The nether looks incredible. Now, all this glow is from the emissive textures 
uh, but the glowstone looks awesome the lava looks awesome uh, of course like i said the glowing is from the ores and stuff the glowing ores and stuff are from the emissive light textures but just the general lighting and atmosphere looks incredible guys with this pack looks incredible so i'm particularly excited about what you can do in the nether all right uh so again you can go ahead and uh run it as the fancy graphics now if you choose fabulous here optifine won't complain about it okay but if you had a regular shader on uh see it'll say shaders are not compatible with fabulous graphics please set graphics so you can't run that uh blur along with it or other shaders when you're in fabulous but you can still load the pack so guys it's a completely universal pack that is super super cool to have these options so again uh let's just demonstrate quickly that i can go and uh i think just this is a regular old world i can run additional shaders along with it so if i again i need to go to my video settings go to fancy shaders i'll get this one that's only water all right so it's just water nothing else the only the shader is only water all right uh it does change the lighting and stuff a little bit although it it is listed as only water but not 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 in a noticeable way not not in a way that's bad so see you basically i can get this the nice water from it um purely running this uh but again i can't have fabulous graphics so you a little bit of trade off there but uh some people have worked on getting fake water reflections and stuff like that and had some success i'm going to make future videos about some of the other packs that are out there but i wanted to demo demo this one right now uh it is a work in progress pack uh one thing i want to mention is like some animals can get a little wacky like these pigs can get a little glowy and the sheep can in, in the brightness of the day again the the bloom of the light is uh blooming out that white uh and again it's just it's related to the time of day and the sun stuff like that but um again i'm continuing to work with this and i'm happy with the initial results and i appreciate your feedback on it as well but look guys i mean here i am i'm in 14 render distance uh and i'm getting like 700 frames a second six seven hundred frames a second with a water shader so it's very performant so if you um can't run regular shaders as long as you can run uh fabulous graphics in sodium for you know fabric or in regular vanilla then you should be able to load this pack and then with optifine you should be able to load the pack uh, regardless of if you can run fabulous graphics but again i'm going to want your feedback on that to let me know how it works on your system because i don't really know the extent of like if you use uh, intel graphics or anything like that but it's all based on the mojang super secret settings so i'll do some uh future videos on that because i've been able to utilize those uh quite a bit as well and reintroduce those into these latest versions of minecraft anyway guys i'm super excited about this project uh let me go ahead like look, look at my eyes glow that's pretty cool that's pretty cool um let me go ahead and give some credit to uh some of the uh packs and stuff that i've used uh again a lot of this is coming from the bloom lighting now i've adjusted several settings but it's by the bomb 64 uh, it's released on a Creative Commons license, so I'll continue to uh, honor that license. Um, and he's, I want to contact him about it because he's under the impression or hasn't yet, you know, realized that it can be updated to work uh, for this. Uh, but his pack is generally a lot brighter if you just use his basic settings a lot brighter uh, but i did again wanted to go for that seuss look uh, but there are other people working on stuff like this and i'm going to make some other videos about their settings but guys we're trying to you know get as close as we can with vanilla minecraft to the super duper vision uh and some of that uh did continue forward so anyway i'm pretty happy with the results of it i think it's pretty cool uh, as far as this first look i especially like the look of the sky and the clouds um, and again, as I learn more about it, 
then uh, I'll continue to develop the shader. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys, but pretty cool to do it with pure vanilla Minecraft shaders and to have several options to mix it along with stuff. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. It's the Scott Omato. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.